All right, man. Welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. I just, people kept sending me this. This is fake stuff, and I'll show everybody the same way, the easiest way to show constructed images. Your first clue should always be, look, when I zoom in, you see see how it's all low resolution? Um, everything I shoot is in HD. Um, these are degraded images, but let's just take a couple of simple things to do. Let's go up to Adjustments and grab the Levels in Photoshop. And first thing you notice is look at the signature you're getting here. I'm not going to go into this, but people who understand how to use Photoshop will immediately understand something about the image. But for the rest of us, let's just jack up the levels. All right, you see that? That's all edit. This is an all an edited image. And the way we can know this is if we take my Canon image that I shot during the eclipse will do the exact same thing. We'll grab levels, see the signature, see the signature difference in a real image, but anyhow, I'm not going to get into that. But watch, when you jack up levels, you don't get the sawtooth edge. I can even go to the point where we start to see all the, the noise in the snow, but you see how it's all kind of even gradient, uh, kind of an even gradient way, no sawtooth marks. Um, and I'll show you one more image that I shot. Here's the Nikon image that I shot from the Eclipse. Let me zoom out a little bit. And I'll do the same thing. We'll go up, just grab levels and jack them up. And again, look, see the signature of this image? It tells you it's organic. See? No sawtooth images, even if we go the other way. Kind of see the edge there, but you don't get the sawtooth degradation that you get on a faked image. Again, we're going to come up and grab levels for this faked suppose ISS going across the moon. And I will show you one more time. There is no portion of this that isn't edited. What they did is they took a real image of the sun. The way I know this is because this is how the sunspots looked yesterday. But that's a telling thing too. And uh, we'll take a look at that. Let's zoom in a bit. So you can see the degradation going on here. Uh, for some reason, everything NASA produces is in low definition, but watch the sunspots. They're a similar color as the supposed ISS, but there's gradients moving away. Let's grab levels and go the opposite direction, and it will really begin to show the fraud. See how the sunspots don't change? But now look, you can see how they cut out each of these and pasted them in. See that? This is a faked image. Not only that, the uh, the blurb that went along with this image said something to the effect that it takes years of planning and all this other nonsense. No, it doesn't. It takes pointing a camera at the object that's going to get transited at a high frame rate. That's what it takes. So the whole narrative behind this is even false. Anyhow, there's one down. Uh, I wanted to grab this other image. Uh, this is supposedly the eclipse shadow. Let's do the same exact thing that we always do with all the NASA nonsense. Uh, we look at this, it's a little more organic looking, but let's jack up the levels and see what we get. There it is, man. Look at all this. What's this green line? I mean, look at all this edit construct. You know, this is not just a snapshot. It just isn't. This is constructed nonsense. Even look at the shadow here of the supposed eclipse. This is supposedly the eclipse. Look. This is constructed nonsense. Anyhow, I just wanted to get this out to show people. One of the simplest things you can do is open an image and just jack your levels in Photoshop, and it quite often tells you the tale. If you go back and look at the Pluto images where I did this, you can demonstrate that there is not one pixel in the Pluto images provided by NASA that it wasn't faked or constructed. Anyhow, ma'am, there it is. Cheers. All right, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. I added this intro after I had already had an intro, but anyhow, I wanted to run this again uh, because people need to understand all these images of supposed things from space that NASA is pushing out to the world, they're not snapshots or photographs of anything. They are constructs. Many of the images in the description will give you this information, but I just got my sky and telescope and they're pushing all the new next generation of Pluto fraud. Um, you want to see Pluto, you got to go to Disneyland, where the other 33rd degree Mason built and ran the place. This is all encoded Masonic nonsense. In my view, there are no machines in space. And this whole Pluto thing, it's just more shenanigans. And I'll show you some pretty telling evidence that I found. Uh, these guys purposely using a blur filter. So let's jump in.
All right, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. Um, I've done clips like this before, but I want to do it again because I just got my Sky and Telescope magazine, and they are again pushing what I consider to be fraud Pluto images. In my view, there are no machines in space. All this kind of snappy, beautiful images they're showing you of Pluto are constructed by a graphic designer, in my view. Now, I'm going to show something here that I think is very telling. This is an image that I took of the moon some time ago. One of my big problems with NASA is when you see these images from NASA, the average person gets the impression that the image you're seeing from supposed space is what you're seeing here. But there is a difference, a big difference. This is actually an image of an object or something, whatever the moon is, taken from a camera. It is unedited, untouched, and watch. I'll do a very simple thing here. I'm going to invert the colors so that the blacks become white. Then I'm going to go grab the levels, and I'm going to jack them up. And notice there's a guide right here to show you where, where we expect to see the edge of the moon. So I'm going to jack the levels all the way up. And look, no artifacts out on the right side, okay? That's because this is an unedited snapshot. It hasn't been messed with. Let me back back this off a little just so it's there you can see okay and that guide was meant to show you where the edge of the moon is all right now let's go grab this I mean you've already seen look so I invert it and then I jack the levels up look at all this you can even see that it looks like this image was made in a different orientation and then rotated but look at all these editing artifacts there is no portion of this image that has not been edited. And when you look at it, it basically looks like something that came out of LightWave or some other 3D program. But now I'm going to show you a very, oh, let me go back here to, where did it go? Okay, so there it is. Um, I want to point out another thing here. Notice how my camera was not in perfect focus, probably because of, chemtrail debris in there, but you see how it looks like it's slightly out of focus, but there is a visual difference between being slightly out of focus and a blur function in an image editing program. So I'm going to get in real close here. This is what it looks like when you're slightly out of focus. Now let me go grab this other image, which I think is so telling. This image, and you see a lot of these from NASA, where it's blurry, and you think, really? Um, these guys go on these multi-gazillion dollar missions, and this is all they can do, so watch this. So I'll, I'll do the inversion, there's the inversion, and there's levels. But look at this, very telling. You see how on an image like, see how sharp edges come on editing pixelation and dithering and other things? Um, they're sharp, but when we come to this image, what, what's happened here, what I believe has happened, is they did the edit, and then they ran a blur filter. You can see it right here. So this image was purposely blurred, and you can tell by the image artifacts that are not sharp, they're all kind of blobby now, because a blur filter has been run. So let's, let me grab another image, and I'll do it to demonstrate it. Okay, here's a good one. Let's zoom it in, and you can see where I've put guides for the edge of the of the image. Let's knock out some of the reds here, um, and that should be good enough. Now I'm going to just select a certain area. Actually, let me get rid of the gray, too. So we'll just get rid of this so we have artifacts like we see in these images hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Then I'm going to go grab a section of it and blur it. Now watch. See, that's what they did. You can see over here where the artifacts are sharp, and you can see right here uh, what happened. And that's what was done to this image when you see what they've done. See how all the artifacts are no longer sharp? It's because they blurred it on purpose. So there it is, man. Um, these images that we're getting from Pluto now, uh, the designers have gone to town. Some of them are very impressive. Um, look at like this here's the kind of previous images that we were getting 
but they've also done another sneaky thing. You see where this crater is and this kind of heart-shaped thing is now? They've rotated it around so that if we try to line up the old shots to look for fraud further, um, it's not from the same point of view because they've changed it around. It's all very sneaky, and uh, none of it is a snapshot of anything. It is all just designed images. That's all they are. None of these are snapshots of anything. Invert, go grab your levels, jack up your levels, and what do you get? There we go. Look. There is no portion of this image that hasn't been edited, and it's all just a farce. Anyhow, I figured I'd show you that because this is very, very telling. You ever see these blurry images? Remember what I showed you on my moon picture? There is a visual dis difference between being slightly out of focus and someone running a blur filter. So then we do the inversion. There's the levels. And look at all these artifacts that should be squared off, sawtooth, edit marks. Uh, a blur filter has been run over it. So there it is, man. Cheers.